Myth number one, jailbreaking voids my warranty. Jailbreaking is not a permanent thing. If you need warranty service, you have to take your device into Apple. Simply use something like Cydia Impactor to remove your jailbreak before taking it in for service. Or if you need to take more drastic measures, simply perform a system restore via iTunes. Apple can't tell that you previously jailbroken your iPhone. Myth number two, jailbreaking slows down your iPhone significantly. Sure, you can install tons of jailbreak tweaks and some can slow down your device, but if you use good judgment about the types of tweaks and keep it to a reasonable amount, you shouldn't fear any major slowdowns. In fact, some tweaks are actually designed to speed up your iPhone. Myth number three, jailbreaking makes your iPhone less secure. This can be true if you don't use good judgment but it can also make your device more secure. In the past, jailbreak developers have actually released fixes for existing bugs in Apple's iOS software before Apple was able to do so. If you use good judgment and stay away from shady third-party repos, stay away from piracy, questionable tweaks, and don't open up your device unnecessarily by installing things like OpenSSH and AFC2, then you should be quite safe. Myth number four, jailbreaking is illegal. That's simply not true. Myth number five, jailbreaking is for sketchy characters. To some, jailbreaking is only done by sketchy characters in dark alleys, which is just silly. I know all sorts of people who jailbreak. I know older people who jailbreak, moms who jailbreak, celebrities, musicians who jailbreak. I heard that even Justin Bieber was jailbroken at one time. Myth number six, jailbreaking is difficult. You can jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch in less time than it takes to brew a cup of coffee. Trust me, my mom can jailbreak her phone with no issues. Myth number seven, jailbreaking costs money. Jailbreaking your iOS device is free. It's always been free and you should never pay for a jailbreak. We have all sorts of tutorials here at IDB that show you how to do just that. If you're asked to pay for a jailbreak, it's probably from a shady source. Myth number eight, Jailbreaking kills battery life. This can be true, but running an intense game nonstop can also kill your battery. It simply takes good judgment and being picky about the types of tweaks you install to maintain good battery life on a jailbroken device. Just because you're jailbroken doesn't mean you automatically end up with terrible battery life. In fact, some tweaks are actually designed to help you save battery life. Myth number nine. Jailbreaking is for piracy. That's simply not true. While it's unfortunate that some take advantage of the ability to pirate media, which can be more easily accomplished with the jailbroken device, that's true. It's definitely not the original reason that jailbreaking got started, and it's not the reason that hundreds of thousands of individuals do so today. People pirate media when they're not jailbroken. I know plenty of people that jailbreak because it allows them to customize their device, not because it allows them to enable piracy. And finally, myth number 10, jailbreaking is no longer necessary. Let me ask you something. Can you theme a stock iPhone? Nope. Can you have picture in picture mode on a stock iPhone? No. Nope. Can you speed up iOS animations on a stock iPhone? No. Nope. Can you browse the native file system on a stock iPhone? No. Nope. Can you use your Wii U Pro controller or a DualShock controller with your games on nope. a stock iPhone? Can you record your screen on a stock iPhone? No. Nope. Can you customize control center toggles on a stock iPhone? No, you can't. Well then, jailbreaking is still necessary.